Listen up, you flavor junkies. And you too, you cloud chasers. You guys ready for a good build? I got one for you. And guess what? This build is my favorite to date. Oh shit, I said it. Now, a lot of you guys out there... <laughs> Rip Trippers post another build. Rip Trippers, he just posted another build. Hey, this build's gotta be better than the last. Listen, I do these builds for you, Nutcrackers. And plus, there's so many out there who are doing these crazy ass builds. And I love it. Sick, sick, sick as that! <laughs> yeah, I'm crazy. And I know it! This is yet another build I gotta share with you. And I happen to call this one the Flat Bastard Build. So let's go ahead, dive down, and get to it. So the first thing you're going to need is two strands of 32 gauge canthal. Now these strands are about six to eight inches in length. And all I'm going to do is make sure that both strands are completely even. And I'm just going to twist, manually twist these two ends together. Okay, then the next step, I'm just going to fold that twist. Just like that. Next step, I'm going to insert that manually folded twist in these four clamps in the drill. And all I'm going to do is tighten down these four clamps on that manual fold. Just like that. Next step, I'm going to take the slack out of both of the wires. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to manually fold these two ends, keeping the tension. And just like the other end, once I've manually twisted those ends, I fold it over, just like that. So I got the slack completely out of both those wires, and all I'm going to do is start the drill up and twist these bad boys together. That's what you want right there. Twisted 32 gauge. Booyah! I'm gonna clip this little folded end. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert this twisted 32 gauge back into these clamps, tighten her down. I'm not going to tighten her down all the way and I'll tell you why in a minute. Today I'm going to be using 0.5 millimeter flat ribbon wire. You want to cut about three feet. And by the way, once you've twisted these wires, it should be about six inches in length. Before we move any further, I'm going to straighten out these bends in this flat ribbon wire. Just run your fingers through it just like that. You see this little crease right here? We're going to insert this flat ribbon wire into that crease and tighten it down all the way. So the next step what we're going to do is we're going to fold just a little bitty fold on the end of this flat ribbon. Want to make sure that it's even and it's folded right over the top. Loosen those clamps up a little bit with that twisted 32 gauge canthal right in the center of those clamps. And what you're going to want to do is insert that fold into this little crease right here. And that acts as an anchor right there. Tighten that sucker down all the way. That's what you want right there. You got the flat ribbon wire in the side clamp. You got the twisted 32 gauge right in the middle. Okay, now I've turned it to where it's positioned just like that. The idea is as you fire this drill, the flat ribbon wire will twist evenly on the twisted 32 gauge canthal. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a few twists manually just to get it started. I'll pull it over just like that.
This is how I hold it right here. But you want that flat ribbon wire to be sort of at an angle, but down at the same time, just like that. Put tension on the flat ribbon wire and also a little tension on that twisted 32 gauge. And the idea is as it spins, you're keeping it in line. But you want the flat ribbon wire to spin sort of at an angle on top of each other all the way through. We're gonna start slow. Put a little tension on there. Okay. Just like that. See how it's going? You want it to be as close together as possible. And that flat ribbon wire is just feeding onto that canthal. You want your fingernail to be at that point where the flat ribbon wire turns over on top of the 32 gauge canthal and it forces it to keep turning basically on top of itself evenly. You don't want to go too fast, but just about right that speed right there. See, those are the wraps you want right there. Those even wraps. Oh yeah, that's beautiful right there. Take it out of those clamps. Clip this edge. Clip the other edge. Have the flat ribbon wires wrapped evenly around the twisted 32 gauge canthal. And as you guys can see, I've pretty much murdered my index finger on my left hand. I mean, that's just from keeping the tension like that all the way through as it wraps. But yeah, it's an art. I mean, once you get it down, you got it. It's like riding a bike. And, and this is also going to be just a single coil today. I've got a 564th drill bit, and we're gonna do seven wraps. seven wraps right there. This wire is a little bit springy. Clip one of these tails and we got the start of a flat bastard build. I'm going to be using the Zenith RDA on this Hannah Mod V3. Insert the leads into the posts, positive and negative. Tighten the connections down. Clip those leads. All right, let's see how she fires up. Ooh, not bad. First fire. Glowing from the inside out. Oh yeah, that's what we want. Got my piece of organic cotton. Gonna slide it right through this bad girl. I can give it a good twist on this other end. Get her through there nice and easy. Okay, right there. That's a mute! I'm gonna use all this cotton. I'm not even gonna clip it this time. Tell you what. Fire her up. Ho, 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 yeah. Let's go ahead and take her back to the original screen. See how she vapes.
So that's a flat bastard build. I hope you guys enjoyed it. But wait, how's she vape? As you guys know, I got her on this Hannah Mod V3. Oh, this juice right here, a lot of people were asking me, Rip, what's that clear juice you got in there? What is it? Gotta know. I've actually been working on an organic line. I've been testing this one juice for, I would say, about six months now, and I'm trying to get it just right. Can't tell you what it is, but all I can tell you is I'm working on an organic line coming to you guys soon. Back to this build. We're going to start her at 20 watts. See how she vapes. Oh, 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 yeah. Well, she chucks the vapor, that's for damn sure. Let's take her to 25 watts. Flavor. Flavor off this build is intense. You know, you're combining the flat ribbon wire with 32 gauge canthal that's been twisted. And not only that, you're twisting that flat ribbon wire over that 32 gauge twisted wire and it's really compact. I mean, all those twists are right on top of each other. And I noticed that with any build, for example, like the Super Nano Coil, that thing is a flavor chucker, is a vapor chucker. And the reason why that build chucks so much flavor and vapor is because it's so compact. And same with this one, everything is so compact. I mean, shit, can you imagine if I'd have wrapped this bad boy into a Super Nano? It'd be ridiculous. But yeah, I mean, the flavor is killer. Vapor, you guys see it. I mean, it's a dense, dense vape. What does Rip mean by dense? I mean, like, it's in your, it's like you could feel it. Dense is like, it's thick. It's like whatever you're vaping, it's almost like you're eating it. You could feel it in your mouth, the warmth, the dense. That's what I mean and it produces an extremely dense vape. This one, for me, it brings out a lot of those tobacco notes, those custardy notes, and that's surprising because the top layer is flat ribbon wire, and from my previous videos, I've talked about flat ribbon wire really bringing out crisp notes and fruity flavors and really muting out those custardy flavors and the tobacco flavors, but for this build, it doesn't do that. That's the beauty of these coils, okay? Each one's different. and I'm getting full on flavor. I mean, it is just delightful. I'm gonna be brave, I'm gonna take her to 30 watts. 30 watts with a 1.1 ohm coil is firing at around six volts. Oh, I can't take long drags at 30 watts because it goes dry, it, will just, it just sucks that juice right out. Holy. <coughs> <coughs> Whoa! Good grief! Damn! Alright, 15 watts. Here it is. And obviously at lower wattages, I'm able to take longer hits just because the ramp up time is taking longer to heat up those coils. At lower wattages, this flat bastard build really hits up on those notes. Those crisp notes, those fruity notes, higher wattages is another story. That's for your custardy type guys, your tobacco type guys, the rich flavors. So that is the flat bastard build. This is Rip Trippers, and remember, smoking is dead, vaping is the future, and the future is now.